2015 uh, brings us back to Sydney. It's a very special year for us. Uh, we're celebrating 25 years of, of Maguire's business in Australia. So we wanted to make the show, Motorix this year, really something special. We made it bigger and better. And when you make something bigger and better, it's just hundreds and hundreds of man hours goes into the show. Just like the hundreds of man hours that go into the cars that star at the show. So we wanted to make a, a spectacle that really hadn't been seen before. And uh, that meant we took the show from 22,000 square metres uh, last time in Sydney to 50,000 square metres this year. We think it made a fantastic spectacle. Uh, we hope everybody that came through the show thought that. That was certainly the feedback. Uh, it's just unbelievable how much everybody has to work to make this show what it is. But we're very proud of it. The uh, Sydney Showgrounds at Olympic Park is already a special venue. Uh, you can't really uh, beat the dome for uh, displaying cars. And we thought, how do you make the show bigger? Uh, and what we'd learnt from Melbourne last year was how people engaged with outside precincts. We'd always sort of had Motor X as an indoor show, and we realised that people like to move through different sections, uh, have some breathing space, we could create new features that were really outdoor, like startups of, of, of drag cars, uh, really a best go outdoors rather than indoors. Uh, the venue would build a, a whole new section onto the existing platform where we picked up two separate halls that were brand new. And this allowed us to do two buildings joined by a whole street that we called Real Street Boulevard in the middle that created eateries, uh, coffee houses, a uh, place for the diner, a place for startups, a place for street driven cars. So I gave it more of a festival atmosphere in between the two buildings. Creating a major event these days that people are going to pay good money to go to, uh, it really needs to create a, a unique experience for them. It's no longer good enough just to have a whole lot of cars and people browse through and look at the cars. They want to know about the cars, they want to maybe hear what the builders or the owners say. They might want to know how those things were created or what went into it. So this year we had more cars than ever. There were 450 cars. That's already a fairly big car show per se, but we add a lot of businesses to that and that's where the how-to comes in. And also uh, what you get to see uh, live and that's why we do the big screens at the show. Uh, we had four of them this year, giant screens. You know, just a few years ago, we had none. So you get to walk through the show kind of in silence. Now there's all this interactivity where you hear what's going on. You can be standing anywhere in the show and still see what was happening somewhere else that might have taken 10 or 15 minutes to walk to. And that's really all part of the experience. It's, it's hearing and learning and engaging. And I love watching people stand in front of big screens uh, watching what's going on. It could be an interview, it could have been George Barris talking on main stage, it could have been how to do something even, but people are intrigued by it and that's what creates an experience. At 11 a.m. on Saturday, a real key feature of the show is the Freestyle Rides inauguration. These cars have come in under the cover of darkness before the show's set up, they're all covered, and then the crowds of people just come around waiting for those covers to come off. Under the covers are vehicles where the owners have approached me, might have even been up to three years previously, to have something really special, and that's have their car unveiled at MotorX. Under these covers are nine cars and four bikes, and some of these vehicles have been in the build for four and five years. The anticipation and suspense of the crowd that gathers around to see what's under these covers has become such a key part of MotorX.
the big growth area in Motor X cars and also cars in general is what we call Street Elite Showcase. They are cars that have absolute elite body, paint, interior, engine bay, but don't have the full detailed undercarriage. And there's some fantastic cars there this year covering off the Street Elite category. The other key feature with the Street Elite cars is that they must be registered. And we go into a lot of detail, make sure they either send engineering uh, certificate or have the rego papers so they guarantee that they're street driven. I bumped into Frank Fowlson who's here with his 66 Pontiac GTO. Now this car is a little bit different, it is certainly beautiful and it's one of those cars you just want to talk about because it is so special. Talk about the story of this car, it's in the dome here, it's very special, you haven't had it finished for long, when did you finish the car? Oh, uh, 12 months ago, yeah we did a full restoration over 11 years. In essence would we call this a restoration or would we call it a resto mod? I guess resto mod, obviously with the, the wider wheels, the stance, the, the different engine. And you know the thing I love too is the 15 inch rims, just perfect. You can't go big rim, they've got to have that old standard look for those rims. That's the only way to do it for me. There is a lot happening everywhere you look here at Meguiar's Motor X 2015 and I'm with Nathan here and he's saying, yes John, we've got House of Colour. And I'm looking at the coolest colours on the planet. That's right, I mean if you want to build a show car and you want to win trophies, John, it's been proven that House of Colour is the way to go, mate. So let's talk about colour spec too. Uh, so colour spec is our uh, retail range of paint, uh, it's more a factory style paint so you can walk into a super cheap auto store with your colour code and pick up an aerosol full of uh, the colour match paint to repair a bumper bar or a scratch. It also comes in a bulk form so if you find a Lamborghini colour or a Ferrari colour uh, you can go into a super cheap auto store, they can mix it up and you can paint anything you want mate. So I'm with Mick from Motor Active. You've got something very exciting happening here because you're you're actually in these uh, designer wraps area. Now you have a whole lot of wraps that are here so let's just talk about what's actually happening on the stand this weekend. You've been doing demonstrations of how to how easy it is to set up a wrap. We've got a lot of feedback out there in, uh, in the retail space from consumers that are are looking to customise or, or alter the appearance of their car with vinyl. What we've been able to come up with is a more consumer grade of vinyl. Something that's a little bit more affordable for those that are prepared to give it a go. And what you're doing is demonstrations on how easy it is to be able to use the vinyl. One, apply it. Two, to design your own design. And then three, to be able to say, how do you finish it off? We've got a product here that we look after called uh, knifeless tape. And what you're able to do now is lay the tape down like Matt's doing into the shape or the design that you want. You can overlay a square piece, it doesn't have to be pre-cut and it allows you to make the shapes or patterns that you want to do. It's, it's really, really cool stuff. The Freestyle Rides inauguration is a really important part of the show for me. I've been working with, with these guys for some of them three and four years and to see the excitement on their face and the anticipation from the crowd, it is just such a really exciting time for me as well as everybody else at the show.
coming up after the break. We've been developing uh, the performance garage aspect of MotorX now for, for a few years. This year we thought we took it to a whole new level. We had over 120 companies involved with MotorX. A big chunk of those were in performance garage. And that's a really important part of what MotorX stands for, is not just looking at cars and admiring them, but how do you go about building them and working on them? How do you find the, the products and the services that help you with your project? We actually attract real car people to MotorX and they want to know all this sort of stuff so Performance Garage has been such a vital part of the development of MotorX that we're really proud of it this year because we gave people a totally different experience to what they'd ever had in Sydney before. Whatever type of car it is, whether it be a race car or a street car, Liquid Molly is a great product. Well, I've been involved with Liquid Molly now since they came back to Australia with uh, Motor Active, and I now race in various series, but these two cars in particular, but a, a historic Formula One car, uh, a mid-60s Corvette, a couple of production cars occasionally, and a Ferrari and a Bentley. So that's six race cars, all use Liquid Molly products. And they, uh, the thing I think is amazing about it, I know, it's, uh, like as a product, it is the best, but it's off the shelf. You know, this is not specially formulated stuff. You know, I've been involved in motorsport for more than 40 years. This is it's very, very special stuff. So they are good to me. They, uh, you know, they provide the product for my cars, and and in turn, I try and tell the world that it's good stuff. So you know, it's a. We all help each other. And we popped over here to see DCI Performance Products, and they've got a whole range of heat soaking and also acoustic soaking pads. This is a really important type of technology. We have products that are purely thermal, we have products that are purely acoustic, and then we also have combination materials. We do manifold shields, starter motor shields, engine mount shields that are already pre-made. And obviously for custom applications, people can buy a flat sheet and make their own shapes. The cars that are in the Performance Garage precinct are incredible. We talk about Pro Comp, which is a lot of competition built cars. Uh, there's a lot of street cars uh, for high performance though. They're great spectacles, uh, often fully blown engines, huge wheels, fat tires, like just really exciting stuff to walk around and enjoy. I'm over here with Lucas from Sunnus Motorsports and we're here today to talk about the LB Performance products. Now you've got some very cool looking cars on the stand, tell us a little bit about the products that you're promoting this weekend. This time in Moto X we bring uh, not just uh, LB Performance, we have supplying the performance exhaust, forge wheels, air intake and air suspensions. Now, uh, products that you've got on the stand this weekend, tell us about um, tell us about the most exciting ones. Well, as always, Harrop's got its 60th anniversary this year and we're well known for powertrain and, and drive lines. So we've got our engine packages, intake manifolds, new supercharger for the 86, that's getting heaps of attention. So we're excited to have that here on the stand. Uh, forge line wheels, which we distribute from the US. There's a new range that suit everything from pro touring cars right through to modern race cars. And then we move outside the building into the startup area. You have wild bunch cars, we have a dyno out there that you get to experience and hear what the cars do. But a huge highlight is a top fuel startup. The Make-A-Wish car it was great to see, but if you've never been around a top fuel car up close, when they start, when they pop, it's an experience you'll never forget. And just watching people stand around there, it's quite an interesting startup where it starts off kind of mild where they have to get it started and so forth. 
then it pops and people just jump. Even when you're expecting it, even when you've seen it before, it's an experience you just won't forget. Now folks, this is just an amazing feeling to be at the wheel of a top fuel dragster. Now Mark, I can see you, you're excited, you're pumped, full of adrenaline. The car wasn't even on the ground. Yeah. So we can only imagine what it's like to run the thing down the, down the quarter mile or down the track at uh, 315 plus miles an hour. Oh yeah, it's unbelievable. I think you've got to go into slow motion. Um, it's pretty much a, a minute worth of memory in that four and a half seconds. Everything's slow motion. You cross that finish line, shut the car down, and like I said before, boom, euphoria or tears because she didn't make it. You know, it's, it's top fuel. <laughs> and now, have you seen a top fuel dragster in the flesh before? Yes, it's just, uh, it's just awesome. But uh, it's great when you get up close, isn't it? Yeah. Did you block your ears or did you let it go in au naturel? No, I blocked it. Yeah, that's a smart thing to do. After many years in the planning, we've had George Barris, King of the Customs at MotorX this year. He's an absolute legend. He's the, probably the first guy that started customising cars. He built cars for the movies, for many celebrities, and he just wowed us with his stories about Elvis Presley, Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, and many other people he built cars for. We had over 30 movie and TV cars, from the original Batmobile to a Herbie, Starskin Hutch, and we had a purpose-built Dragula, which was used in the Munsters, it was such a feature of the show this year. With the majority of these movie cars, they were from our childhood, we used to see them all on the television or on the movies. It was awesome to see them all there together in the show. Not only did you do cars, but you did golf carts. That is correct. I would make a golf cart, a golf cart, to match the features of their face. That means if their nose was a little bit bigger, I'd make it real big. <laughs> yeah, and if the, uh, and then if the head was out of a little bit, of, I'd make it like he's got a big hat, and then make a hat. And we would do things to match the star in one way or another that would be either golf carts or parades or in movies. So it was a part of the world that you would see that cars become a part of them. Elvis Presley was the kindest, nicest man to everybody. When we were working on his, his limousines, he'd come into the shop and go out and talk to my 20 men that were working in the shop before he would come in and talk to me. He considered everybody with just as much value as you, me, anybody in the, in the world. You could always stop any place, any time, and Elvis would talk and be a part of you. One of my favorite parts this year was when George rocked up on the Saturday morning in the Batmobile. He had the gold Hollywood jacket, the double thumbs up. It was just such a memorable part of the show for me this year. Muscle cars are so popular these days, we've developed Muscle Car Marvel. Within that category, we have Factory Restored, 
which is your Judy Falcons, your Monaros, and of course your classic American Camaros, Mustangs, and those cars are restored absolutely original. We're in the back of the hall area with the colour spec muscle car marble. And right behind me, I'm thinking, there's a car that's in a box. It is an XW Falcon GTHO Phase 2, one of the great Australian muscle cars. But we're also going to do some out of the box thinking because beside that car, if we have a little bit of a look over here, we have some amazing cars that are on display as part of the colour spec muscle car marble. One, we've got another group of cars from the GT Club, Inc., the Grand Tourers Club. The owner of the XA is right down here, just having a little polish, making sure everything's right. And he probably isn't gonna like this, but I'm gonna grab him on the microphone and say, the car is fantastic. How good is it to be here? Excellent, thank you very much. It was, yeah, it's great. We come down from Brisbane. Um, no, we got invited down with these guys here. It was great, yeah, really appreciate it. It's a great, great venue, I can't wait. Well, one of the things I'm going to admire about your car is the detail that you've gone into when you look at the drum brake on the back or the 12 slotter that's cut up at the front, everything with this car looks spectacular. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Then we have modified muscle. Again, that will be the muscle car, the whole look, but these are guys that want to improve the stance, put bigger wheels. Even some of those cars have blowers out the bottom, but they are still a real popular muscle car. I got Mr. John Fernando here from the 567. That's the 55, 56, 57 Chevrolet Club of Australia. These are known as the shoebox Chevs and 60 years of these cars. But I'm looking along here and I'm going, the club has put together an amazing display. How many cars have you got on display here? We've got nine um, and mostly the 55s. Have, uh, we've got five 55s to promote this year and, and two 56s and two 57s. Well, the car that was right now, the camera's focusing on, even the engine there. So we're talking about a late model engine in a shoebox Chev. Yeah, virtually um, Commodore running gear, apart from the diff. We've got Commodore motor, Commodore gearbox, Commodore brakes, and um, yeah, drive steers and drive like a new car.
we'll be back with more Motor X after the break. After years of car shows, we've learned that the single biggest question people ask around anything to do with products is what's new. So what we did is start a, a brand new concept called New Product Central, and that was designed to create a little precinct that allowed people to walk through and have a look at what's new in the automotive aftermarket in one location. Now tell us what's uh, what's awesome about the the headlight restoration kit. Uh, well, something a little bit different about the uh, the new Meguiar's headlight restoration kit is the method of application. So uh, conventionally, your headlights are it's a sanding process and it's it's quite difficult and a long process to do. This new formulation from Meguiar's cuts it all in half. So it is it, honestly the most effective and simple way to uh, restore and protect headlight clarity. One of the big problems that a lot of people face with a modified or a high value car is trying to find somewhere to tie it down. Um, when you've got a low car, trying to run a single strap over the top, you can't get your hands up around guards and what have you. So we just wanted to look at a way to get the straps away from the paint um, and away from expensive wheels. So we've come up with a system where you just replace the wheel nut at a time um, with these aluminium nuts and mount the facing plate to it and it stands your strap away from your wheel and away from your paint job um, and load it on the trailer and away you go.
Maguire Superstars is the creation of the super elite category of cars built in Australia. This year in 2015, the Maguire Superstars is a new format. We changed from having the top hot rod and the top street machine. Now we have what's called the Super 6 and out of that comes the Grandmaster is the winner overall. A superstar car is made up of the best cars. They're judged over six categories, which is obviously engine bay, body and paint, interior, undercarriage, engineering. And then at the end of the day, we're looking for degree of difficulty and the amount of work done, but overall, it will always be about the quality. So we have around about 20 cars, 30 cars here that will actually be on display throughout the two days. In fact, I think it's more, including cars that debuted at Motor X 2014. These cars are now competing for the best car in the country. As I said, the Super 6 Maguire Superstars and then the Grand Master for 2015. Some of the cars, yes, we just saw there, a little Mazda RX-3. Some of them are Falcons, like this one here from Queensland. And if we've got fans from any state, we will see cars that are here from every state in Australia. That is Queensland, New South Wales, Canberra, Melbourne and Victoria, South Australia, Western Australia. We even have cars here from the Northern Territory to compete for the Maguire's Superstars Big Award. The gorgeous hot rod here debuted yesterday as part of the Freestyle Rides inauguration. What sort of comments have you been having? Very, very good. A lot lot better than I expected. We um, we brought the car along. It's, it's at its peak now. It's been a six year process. Uh, the car's been in my head for 15 years. Um, we have other cars that we've built, but this is the, the, the quintessential car. Okay, I'm really impressed with that. It's been in your head for 15 years. Now you've actually got something which you can say, I'm going to put that on the road, or what's the plan from here? Show it for a little while. In the process, we'll start another car we have sitting in the garage for my wife. Um, probably show it as well, and about that time we'll put this on the road. So what's the car for the wife? It's a steel 32 Roadster. So you guys are going to have a his and hers hot rod? Among other things, yes. The Grandmaster for 2015 is John Sard's Mazda RX-3. If you have a look at that car, it is just superb in every area. The craftsmanship, the degree of difficulty, and the amount of work done, and the quality overall was just sensational. Yeah, I'm just very, very excited. This is what the whole reason why we built the car, is to win the top water. And to me, Motor X is the number one show and the number one award. So to win that, it's a mission accomplished. Very, very happy. Some of that's earlier this year, I won Top Judge Delete. And now winning this, yeah, to me, be, call me cocky, call me what you will, but 2015, I think I do have the number one show car in Australia. Stay with us, Australia. We'll be back with more Motor X after the break. I'm standing here with Jen from Andra. Jen, you're uh, you're at MotorX. How are you enjoying things this weekend? This weekend has been fantastic. We're so lucky to be able to show our sport in front of so many people. The uh, Top Fuel car is a great um, exhibition for us with the startups. Uh, people come running over. We've scared a few people, but there's plenty of earplugs around to uh, keep everyone safe. I thought you had three or four cars here, but how many cars have you got here this weekend? Uh, we've got ten cars in this weekend. The club's really got behind uh, Motor X this year and uh, Owen Webb's been really good to us so it, 
it's a pleasure to be here and represent the Regency Ramblers at the show. Jason there, he, he's our enforcer. If anyone owes us any money or anything, we send him around. Seems to work. It's fantastic to see the Batmobile here again today and everything's just looking spectacular. Yeah, we're having an absolute ball down here at Motor X. Probably for, for us movie car people, one of the best opportunities to get them all together. And the people have just embraced it and love it. And wonderful having George Barris, the creator of most of these here with us. How good's that? Well, it's also congrats to you because not only do you have the Batmobile, but you've got some other movies cars here in particular. You've got the Gone in 60 Seconds, Eleanor. I tried to get Nicolas Cage to come along, but he was busy. Mama, maybe next time. We've been seeing some really good horsepower today, but this is also a, a very serious side of tuning a car. So let's talk about the dyno dynamics side and the tuning of a car on a dyno. Yeah, look, uh, we at Dyno Dynamics design and develop and manufacture these dynos in Australia. They're probably amongst the best in the world. Uh, and our control system and our software allows you to get so much data out of the car and the car's engine management system in real time and live that allows you to both diagnose and analyse to get the maximum performance out of a car. The sheer quality of the builds continues to amaze me. I just hate to be a judge. We have a team that does that, um, we can blame them. Uh, so it, it so it's really gets down to the smallest points when you're comparing one car to the next car to the next car. It's almost heartbreaking that when uh, you only have often one winner in a, in a category uh, because everybody's put so much into it and they may have missed by a few points. And again, that judging process is very critical, but it needs to be. But the quality continues to amaze, and uh, it, it shines differently sometimes in different categories. Huge inroads in the street elite category, for example. Uh, so the show is designed to reflect what's happening in the, in the car community, and we think there's no other show that does that better. I was really pleased with Motor X 2015. A couple of key features for me was definitely George. To see him come in on the Saturday morning with a double thumbs up was just something I'd had in the planning for so long and it worked so well, it went over terrifically with the people. The format change with Superstars I thought worked really well and to have a grandmaster and to see him go away so happy winning the $10,000 was just a great conclusion to the whole event. One of the things that always intrigues me every year is how passionate the Australian car hobby is about its cars and all the things around that. And uh, if we get to show that to people and we get to attract that next generation of, of kids that maybe uh, instead of playing computer games, they can come to a great show, get inspired to look at cars. We don't care what kind of car people like to work on or tinker with or drive but it's great to, to show the full expression of the Australian car hobby and the passion behind it, the energy behind it, and the show does that. I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of our people as well uh, to pull off the show this big. It takes a lot of passion from us to do that and all the people that work at Motor Active. So these are, these are great proud moments, not just for us, but for people who love cars, love to show them, businesses that like to talk about them. We continually look to improve the show every year and. And this year we thought we put it all on the table. It's all for us, it's not business, it's actually our passion too. We do this because we love cars. We like to show them. And uh, look, to, to be impressed by your own show is, is fantastic. Uh, I've been to a lot of other shows around the world and we get a lot of nice comments about the show, but unless I'm impressed, I'm not happy. So uh, I guess this year I was, and, and I, I look forward to next year and the years after of continuing to evolve Motorex.